Welcome to the Women and Girls Empower Women Summit virtual experience across borders. This summit is designed to provide empowerment, advocacy, to raise awareness of the plight of women and girls across borders by documenting similarities and differences and promoting gender-based violence prevention and gender equality in governance. This summit will be a regional, pedagogical, experiential knowledge share of IVLP alumni between three continents collectively with Trinidad and Tobago, the Bahamas, Ghana, Kenya, Sri Lanka, and India. There are three components to the summit. One, focus group discussions to be held in August of 2021. Two, a five-day virtual workshop to be held November 22nd through the 26th of 2021. And three, a global summit to be held April 4th through the 8th of 2022. We want you to think, share your thoughts, views, experiences, lend your voice as we advocate for equality and equity and navigate towards governance, peace and security for our women and girls. Good morning. Good morning. Good evening. <laughs> Good night. Good afternoon. <laughs> So what, is, what are we doing here today? Well, we are here for the official start of the GPS Empower Women Summit. But first, Josan, what we have to do? We have to apologize. Um, you know the negatives of stereotype that Trini is always late. We are humbly sorry that we have started so late. This was supposed to start at 10 p.m. and be in considerate 10, 10 yeah. 10 a.m. <laughs> yeah. India, 8, 8 p.m. India time, yeah. Well, 7 30 actually. Right, oh god, all over the place. And because of um, our late starts, we are, are so sorry for having our viewers tune in late. Um, but thank you for being with us. I understand that we still have people on the live and we greatly appreciate you all being here. So, I'm but we, we, I think we need a clear up first, too. There's something called Murphy's Law. Yeah, boy, anything. Right? And <laughs> because there's not no excuse, but trust me, y'all, everything that could have gone wrong went, went wrong. wrong. And that's the challenge to it, this technology, especially now COVID time, because all of us now forced to go online. Yeah. Right? And because all of us online now, mm -hmm. we have to find a way to navigate Definitely. That, that cyber space. Right? Because for those who don't know, this is a GPS for governance, peace, and security. Well, Josan, we're so anxious. I am M. Tima <laughs> Yeah, and you're calling my name, and I am Josan Sylvester. <laughs> M. Tima, who are you? Give the people a little background. Who so are you? I am the founder and current um, general manager of the Oral Tradition Roots Foundation, which is actually the leading... Um, the leading organization for this mm -hmm. project mm -hmm. which involves six countries across three continents yeah. right so we're looking at in the caribbean we have tnt we have the bahamas yes yes in africa we have kenya ghana and then we go on quite a asia, South asia we South have asia, Sri in, Lanka, and india and india yes so we yes. cross three continents six countries and all the time zones we're using AST, Atlantic Standard Time for TNT, EST, Eastern Standard Time for Bahamas, IST, India Standard Time for Indian Sri Lanka, uh -huh. EAT, East African wow. Time for wow. Kenya, <laughs> and GMT, Greenwich Mean Time for Ghana. Five, five time zones. It is crazy. And you, you know, you were thinking the Caribbean, we'd have the same time zone when yeah. we are our parts. 
in, in some yeah, yeah. And did I see events at the same time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So we are here for the GPS, the governance, peace and security empowerment global summit which started over a year ago Josan. wow so tell us about it oh before i continue i'm too many you have to ask me who i am oh who are you <laughs> good morning everyone my name is Josan sylvester and i am the project manager at the oral traditions roots foundation right um as i'm Tima said the roots foundation has been um the core ngo of of the um project totally, yeah. right should have to be because we need lead, um, the lead right and roots foundation is the the ngo that's um in with this project so good morning everyone um i'm happy to be here um and as Tima said this is a governance peace, peace and, and security. security project all right um and the name of the project is the global well oh, yes, the Woman, yeah the global summit yeah. right so um can you tell us a bit about this project so well huh, this project actually started back in 2016. really wow that's like <laughs> six years ago so it started back in 2016 when 15 of us right we were recipients of um and i, I it's it's really one of the um department of state the u.s department of state mm -hmm premier programs called the IVLP International Visitors Leadership Program so we had 15 leaders from across 14 countries because two came from one country yeah right um, and we were at Washington DC and we went to um, Wyoming our next group went to Nevada then we went to Los Angeles and then we ended in New Orleans nice and the project was based on youth and community conflict resolution so we met back then 15 of us we kept in contact we always wanted to really do something and it's only pro probably i think it was 2020 or mm -hmm. 2019 where our um, partner from kenya yeah. honorable ibrahim sani yeah. said hey let's do something to change the world yeah. that is, that is the man words so let's do something together to make a, to make an impact to change the world and we um applied for this it's a grant but a sort of competition with the aeif the alumni engagement innovation fund yeah so we applied through the port of spain u.s embassy the u.s embassy of port of spain mm -hmm. trinidad and tobago one in the region and here we are today so we applied Six about I think it was in 2020 okay. we applied for this grant yeah. and mm -hmm. here we are now in 2022 because the covid really posed a serious challenge definitely, definitely in getting this program off the ground which was to be physical right it was to be physical but we ended up being virtual um to accommodate our partners Ghana, Kenya, India, Sri Lanka. Okay, so <laughs> let's just have a um, <laughs> so let's just have a recap. So in 2016, you met your fellow project leads. Yes. Who are these project leads? Well, no, I can't remember everybody in the 15. I'm gonna tell oh. you who make up this project. Here. Right. Yes. So we have Kendra Bo from the Bahamas. Okay. We have Good Morning Honorable. Bahamas. Honorable Ibrahim Sani from Kenya. Honorable. Good right. morning, Kenya. I mean, is it afternoon? Afternoon, afternoon Kenya. We I have follow me with Dr. Time. Ratishia <laughs> Tawari out of India. Good night, India. Yeah, night <laughs> India. We have Shihar Hassan from Sri Lanka. Good night, Sri Lanka. And we end up branching out to a partner in Ghana, mm -hmm. right? In the likes of Queen Mother Nana Tesewa the third right um she is out of ghana she was not part of the ivlp uh -huh. right the actual person couldn't continue for circumstances beyond all of our control mm -hmm. right that was um urban right I um urban I ibrahim urban and but queen mother stepped in hello thank and you queen pulled mother. her way with her team from ghana Good afternoon, yeah, good afternoon Ghana. Ghana yes right nice okay so we started in 2016 our bond was 
platform in 2016 mm -hmm. and then in 2020, 2020 we won, we won the, the, yeah. the grants and here we are so tell us about from 2020 leading up to now i feel we should let the content oh okay speak for all itself. right so because what do we have in I, store with regards to this content this morning so today you're going to see a lot of content from our youth ambassadors and the likes of I Am Affirmations. Uh -huh. um, they did poems. Because we focus on three themes. Uh -huh. Gender-based violence in a cross-country context. We looked at family life and recreation. Uh -huh. And we looked at equality and equity in governance. Now, someone might say, these are cliche topics. Mm -hmm. What we did with this project, we compared and we contrast. We looked at similarities and differences across the borders yeah because even though yeah. it's a cliche and i th i think it's happening all over because so we what is what we came up with a kind of slogan like what is harmful is universal oh, okay okay because okay. what you might think applies in terms of harmful cultural practices to tnt mm -hmm. it is also in kenya india sri lanka Ghana, the Bahamas. Yes, definitely. Yes. Okay, so can you repeat that for me? What is harmful? What is harmful is universal. Is universal. Okay, great. Well, let's jump into the content. Let's jump into the content. So, so the first, what we have first is the, um, is an address, I believe. No, we have, we have to start officially. Oh, I'm right. a five, five, six. Six, six, right, right. So we must start with our national, national anthem. anthem. So these people right, can have right. an idea and a feel of who these countries are and, you know, what they're about. So I think we shot one here, no? The no. person who gave us the, um, the grant. That's no, they are there. Everybody's there. Everybody there? Everybody's Everybody there. there. <laughs> so right. let's start. Without please. further ado.
Lift up your head to the rising sun, Bahama the land. March on to glory, your bright banners waving high. See how the world marks the manner of your bearing. Pledge to excel through love and unity. Pressing onward, march together to a common lot, yeah, go. Steady sunward, though the weather hide the wide hand treacherous soul. Lift up your head to the rising sun, Bahamal hand, till the road you trod lead unto your God. March on Bahamal
The United Nations Sustainable Development Goals Prayer God of mercy and compassion, after all the years of our violence, you have given a vision of life in community with the earth and with one another. Give us grace to achieve the goals upon which we are united, an education for all worthy of the human spirit and the attainment of maturity and wisdom. God, give perseverance. God, give grace. The equality of women and men at all ages and in all areas of responsibility. God, give perseverance. God, give grace. The reduction of inequality within and among the nations that impairs the order and justice of human society. God, give perseverance. God, give grace. 
the development of structures of justice and peace that all may share equally in human society and in the life of its peoples and institutions. God, give perseverance. God, give grace. The United Nations Human Rights Pledge I will respect your rights regardless of who you are. I will uphold your rights even when I disagree with you. When anyone's human rights are denied, everyone's rights are undermined. So I will stand up. I will raise my voice. I will take action. I will use my rights to stand up for your rights. Each and every one of us can make a difference. So nice. Now that we have all our protocols, all our bases covered, we get the answers from everybody. Everybody checked in. We had the UN prayer, right? Everyone that established checked in. And then we had the pledge, which is very important right now. Um, I think a line was once anyone's rights are denied, everyone's rights are denied so you know that, that is important so cover all your bases what do we have next in store for the people well we start mm. you know, the, the party start yeah you know um and you know before i i actually bring on the other speaker one of our main speakers uh, i think it was it will be remiss of me not to extend Ramadan greetings to the Muslim world. Definitely. Right? Um, because myself, being a Muslim, um, we have also on our team, Muslims on Team India. Yeah. Um, team Kenya. Mm. I think the whole team is Muslims oh. on Team Kenya. <laughs> right? um, and we also have Muslims in Ghana and Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, yes, definitely. So we need to really um, extend and a matter of fact, we know it's a little after 11, but they already break fast mm -hmm. in um, they too India, are fasting. Yeah, yeah. In Sri Lanka because of the time zone. Definitely. You know? So we mentioned that we have a partner in the likes of Queen Mother out of Kenya. Out of, I'm sorry, Ghana. Out of Ghana. We also have a princess too. No? Papa, you. Now no, listen, eh? the interesting thing about this program, I've been called all type of things in my life <laughs> uh -huh. i have never been called honorable oh okay and listen you uh -huh. know you know in trinidad our term honorable is not that honorable right but i have been called honorable and the first time i heard it from princess meridium out of um nigeria via the uk the mm -hmm. uk I jumped. As I still look around and said, <laughs> Me you know, who, who is this honorable person she's speaking about? Uh -huh. she, honorable Emdima. I said, well, have our next Emdima here. <laughs> so Princess Meridium is uh, a big um, part of this GPS project. A matter of fact, um, our partner in Ghana, you know, the princess reached out to the queen. Oh. Yeah, yeah, understand the protocol, eh? uh -huh. So the princess reached out to the queen, mm -hmm. and the queen accepted the princess' invitation mm -hmm. to be a part of this program. So it's only fitting yeah. that we start the week off with greetings from, from the princess. From the princess. Greetings, your majesties, highnesses, your excellences, ladies and gentlemen. All protocols duly observed. I am Her Royal Highness Princess Murad Dune Atidui Sholan, veteran broadcast journalist, media specialist, and royal cultural ambassador. Um, I am one of the consultants and facilitators working with and alongside the GPS Empowerment Project and its team. I bring you warm royal salutations from the palaces of my grandfather and my royal ancestors, my grandfather being His Royal Majesty, Oba William Christopher de Duane II, the Akaribu and paramount ruler of Remo Kingdom, southwestern Nigeria, Ogun State in West Africa. So it is my cherished delight to be asked to welcome you all to this GPS Empowerment Summit. 
on behalf of the coordinators and the hosts, in the persons of Honorable Ntema Sulwazi and Ms. Kendra Bow, the other team leaders and participating members from across three continents, namely Africa, South Asia, and the Caribbean, ADA represented by six nations, Sri Lanka, India, Ghana, Kenya, Bahamas, and of course, Trinidad and Tobago. Now, one of the main missions of the GPS Empowerment Summit and project is to recognize and encourage the girl child. Also to acknowledge and empower women in general across the globe. It is said that when you empower a woman, you empower a whole village, community, town, city, or nation. Because it is women who have the primary duty to nurture, to teach, to guide, to train, to care for, and help to mold the character of a child from a very young age, be they male or female. Any nation that wants to see real change in 21st century, I must say, must ensure that they encourage and empower their women across the board. And by extension, they must make the safety, safeguarding and education of the girl child a top priority and also the boy child as well. Um, once again, I want to just warmly welcome us all to this amazing, powerful summit. Let's all remember that popular adage that says, the hands that rock the cradle rules the world. Without a woman, I don't think we'll really have a world because every human person, male or female, has been birthed by a woman. In other words, each person has a mother, whether they're kings, queens, royals, presidents, heads of states, whatever they may be, whatever their professions are, everybody was born from and by a woman. And we need to ensure that we put the woman on the pedestal. Once we're able to do that, trust me, our world will become a better place and we'll be able to produce a better quality of life for all. So on this note, I say thank you very much for your time. Happy GPS Empowerment Summit. Enjoy. Thank you, Princess. She's speaking real regality, real royalty. Yeah? Royalty. royalty. She's royal. <laughs> yeah, and she has helped us so much in the project. She was there for the harmful cultural, cultural practices. practices. Yeah. Um, she even she was at the opening meeting saying so, you know, she, yeah, she was always uh, yeah, involved from involved, day one. Yeah, yeah. From day one. So thank and, you, Princess. And that contact was made at least the princess contact was made through Kenja. Nice. So the networking was definitely so international Kenja networking to the princess, from the princess to the queen. Yeah. And that's how it flows. Now I want to ask you a question. We play the US anthem then tt anthem mm -hmm. and then all the other countries so us had a big part to play in this oh i thought it because watch me i not too good at protocol eh? <laughs> right? um, but no the the us embassy or the us government through uh -huh. the us embassy port of spain they are the ones responsible for us getting this grant you know yeah. um this project could have never come off the ground if we didn't get the funding through the U.S. Embassy Port of Spain, um, in particular the Public Affairs Division, right? Uh -huh. So, but they um, because we applied through them mm -hmm. for that that's um, AIF yeah. Alumni Engagement Innovation Fund. And you right? went to IVLP through right, right? So I for this particular program, mm -hmm. I was chosen by the U.S. Well, I was the only person from Trinidad and Tobago. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, 
what I told you is 15 of us from 14 different countries. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a sort of one person per country. Uh -huh. you know, just, I think it was Ukraine, interestingly. I think it had two um, okay. persons. Right? Um, so, yes, I am an alumni of the, the um, IVLP. So, and this particular grant, the mm -hmm. AEIF Alumni Innovation, AE Alumni Engagement uh -huh. Innovation Fund uh -huh. is actually for alumni of exchange programs. Okay. Not necessarily IVLP. But any but exchange Yeah, yeah, full program. right. Any exchange program run by the local embassy through the Department of State. Because uh -huh. that's how it goes. The US Embassy, local. Yeah. Right? And they, it goes up to the Department of State. Mm -hmm. Right? And but that's really funny after coming from Washington. Yeah. But the local, the, the, your local embassy are the administrators okay. of those specific grants. Wow. And Port of Spain uh -huh. is the administrator of this particular GPS Empowerment wow. Global Summit. Wow. So fund. imagine that thank, thankfully the U.S. Um, Department of State brought together 15 of y'all yeah. and out of the 15 of y'all, six of y'all. Came, came back came together. together yeah and now Josan, mm -hmm. that was a win-win mm -hmm. let's say you reviewing this grant uh -huh. and you seeing members of a 2016 cohort uh -huh. submitting a grant in 2020 that you know the bond that's a loan long lasting, you, nah, yeah. one your program worked yeah because that was that is one of the main goals of the alumni of the um, IVLP uh -huh. to take you to the states uh -huh. to learn best practices to network uh -huh. to build your 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 capacity in terms of reach and so obviously yeah that alone giving you 10 points nice yeah. right and then well the quality of the, the project hello right? and, and the world will see uh -huh. what how this thing looking as you unfold in the five days so Definitely. yeah the u.s embassy well, of Spain did a very very, very big role special Crucial thanks role. to them so extending greetings from the u.s embassy port of spain would be the charge de affairs shanti moore of u.s embassy trinidad and tobago welcome i am shanti moore the charge de affairs of the u.s embassy port of spain on behalf of the u.s embassy in port of spain I am delighted to introduce a virtual experience across borders, a documentary showcasing the work of an alumni engagement innovation fund project grant. This documentary is the result of two State Department funded initiatives. First, the, the International Visitors Leadership Program, which is our premier professional exchange program that brought together the six partners from six different countries. Second, the grant that financed this program. In 2020, the U.S. Embassy's Public Affairs Section launched an initiative to counter violence against women and girls in Trinidad and Tobago and to align with the themes of the U.S. government's Women, Peace, and Security Implementation Plan. This project, the Governance, Peace, and Security Empower Women Summit, consisted of a series of workshops across Trinidad and Tobago, the Bahamas, India, Sri Lanka, Kenya, and Ghana, with the goal of eradicating gender-based violence in each country. Violence against women and girls is a global issue that affects millions every year. We must also grapple with the hard truth that the COVID-19 pandemic has also exacerbated what is dubbed the shadow pandemic of violence. Reports of domestic violence have increased during the pandemic, intensifying a deeply entrenched human rights crisis. Ending gender-based violence is not only a moral imperative, but a strategic imperative to realize the full and equal participation of all people in our societies. The data clearly show that societies that empower women to participate fully in civic and economic life are more prosperous and peaceful. U.S. Embassy Port of Spain is committed to innovative programs such as the GPS Empower Women Summit that equip participants with tools to counter harmful cultural practices and gender-based violence. As President Biden said on the International Day of the Elimination of Violence Against Women, eliminating violence against women is an enduring value and goal that we must prioritize in all that we do. 
Thank you to everyone from across the world who helped make this project a success. So Antima, you're talking about equity and equality in governance, right? So what does that mean for you as a project leader on this um, project? Well, well um, you know, the, the thing about equity and equity and equality yeah because they both go hand in hand because in some cases you can't have One. equality mm -hmm. but you can have equity yeah so for instance a woman is working in a company mm -hmm. doing the same job as a male counterpart mm -hmm. why should not she receive the pay that is mm -hmm. required for that position mm -hmm. or that particular job so don't say all right because it's a woman mm -hmm. give empty more ten dollars and give jews and five dollars mm -hmm. right so that way that equity comes in that equality she should have the opportunity to apply for that position definitely you no know, don't say well because you're a woman no you no know, you can't find to the kitchen or you can't find to the house and we that section on equality and equity in governance was really important to, to bring home to these young people that hey you too can aspire even to the highest position in your country yeah there's no reason why a woman can be president and you know mm. we, we could boast interesting enough yeah and e interestingly enough we can boast of having our first not only female prime minister but we have now our first female president sitting sitting right now while the project is going on so you know that should be inspiration enough for our youth ambassadors so i would like to bring to extend her greetings um I guess you all know who it is from the lead up. Um, her, I mean, I don't want to mix this up yet. I don't want to mix this up. I had to put respect on somebody's name when it, re when, it, when it is due, right? Her Excellency, Paula May Weeks, Order of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, President, as I'm team, I say, sitting right now, President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Warm greetings to the organizers, sponsors, and most of all, the participants of this inaugural Governance, Peace, and Security Empower Women Summit. When I received the kind invitation to address you, I jumped at the opportunity, not only because I'm a woman and gender equality is close to home, but because sharing and engaging with young people is to me one of the most important aspects of my role as president. Exchanging views and ideas with young people soon to take over the leadership of their countries is refreshing. Of course, this is best done by in-person interaction, where there can be dialogue. But we will not let this virtual format deprive us of the warmth and fellowship typical of a traditional gathering. Achieving gender equality is one of the final frontiers of the 21st century. While in many quarters, significant progress has been achieved, there remains much to be done. Far too many glass ceilings, though showing signs of wear and tear, remain essentially intact. Here in the Caribbean, we have confronted and bested some of the more obvious challenges, providing educational and economic opportunities for girls, improving maternal mortality rates, and installing women in high profile offices. But let's not fool ourselves. There is some residual resistance that can only be overcome by subtle and sustained effort. Energy, zeal, and an open-minded approach, the traits of youth, are also required. And so I'm excited and pleased to note that the participants between the ages of 12 and 20 are being trained in this initiative to become advocates for the advancement and well-being of women everywhere. We older heads can provide mentorship and the benefit of our experience but the heavy lifting is for the young. I have chosen the theme, creating opportunities for women and girls to enter public and political life, as it is an issue that falls squarely in my garden. If this is to be realized, we must be alert to 
prepared for and proactive about exploiting opportunities that already exist, as well as conceiving and creating new possibilities. There are any number of structures and interventions that can be implemented to level the playing field and increase the number of girls and women participating in public and political life, including introducing gender quotas, creating a specific training and leadership pathway for girls, and establishing programs to raise awareness. But once in office, women need the tools and support to flourish and surmount stereotypes and biases that militate against their success, whether in the workplace or in society at large. From the time of my appointment as the sixth and first female president of Trinidad and Tobago in 2018, I have been bombarded by questions about what it takes to be a successful female leader in areas of endeavor dominated by men. These inquiries have come from young girls, female students about to embark on further studies or careers, women's organizations, and the occasional young man. I confess that prior to taking office, I had never really given deep thought to this issue. I entered the fields of criminal law practice in 1982 and judicial office in 1996, which at the time were male dominated. But I never encountered or even perceived any gender discrimination. If there were such attempts, I was too busy being focused on my goals to discern them. I want to share with you a few simple creeds that I operated with as they served me well. Nothing novel or out of the ordinary, but they bear repeating because they are easy to forget or dismiss in our day-to-day -day contending with windmills, real and imagined. The first truth is that true success requires consistent, diligent work, a commitment to excellence. Beyond just good intentions, it requires sacrifice, self-discipline, and the ability to push past obstacles, internal or external. Some navigate their way to power, while for others, it is a result of serendipity. But whichever, you must equip yourselves well for the task ahead. This applies to both men and women. But in a male-dominated field, with the spotlight on them, women are often required to work harder, shine brighter, and grow a thicker skin. Mediocrity just won't cut it. Next, focus on the objective. Ignore inconsequential distractions. I have found that if you keep on looking about nervously for obstacles and challenges, you are sure to find them. Don't assume that just because you are operating in a traditional male environment, that men are erecting stumbling blocks to retard or derail you. You might be surprised to find that many of them admire and are proud of you and are eager to teach you the ropes. Looking upward and onward makes you less vulnerable to challenges that do exist and raises you well above the vagaries of your everyday circumstances. Next, take your duties and functions seriously, but yourself, not so much. Jealously guard your sense of humor and practice looking for the lighter side of things, even in the most dire situation. I am often asked whether a woman operating in a man's world needs to be serious, assertive, bold, or authoritative. My take on it is that authenticity is the most effective style. If you are by nature a confident go-getter, let that work for you. But at the end of the day, be true to yourself and identify and cultivate those personal attributes which are advantageous to you. There is value and utility in empathy, multitasking, problem solving, and cooperation, attributes often considered to be too feminine for public and political life. But remember, you usually catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Speak up and speak out, even if your voice trembles while doing so. Never be afraid to be an advocate for a worthy cause, even if it's an unpopular one. Don't be shushed by society, menfolk, or for that matter, women who do not share your considered view on an issue. As you climb the ladder, scan the horizon for those who can benefit from your help. In political and public life, women sometimes view each other as competitors for limited opportunities. We would get further if we see each other as allies, and collaborate on creating more positions and opportunities for other women. 
I share the view of recently deceased former American Secretary of State Madeleine Albright, herself a woman who boldly entered into a field dominated by powerful men. And she said, there is a special place in hell for women who don't help each other. It is important to surround yourself with a number of faithful and frank cheerleaders who are in your corner, but who will tell you the unvarnished truth and give constructive criticism or a word of caution where needed. This group will also provide comfort, support, encouragement, and cry or celebrate with you as the occasion warrants. And finally, this one is personal. Have faith in your God. I grew up in the church and have done my best to live by Christian principles. This foundation has sustained me through difficult and trying times, providing comfort, courage, hope, guidance, discernment, and other tools critical to a happy and successful professional and personal life. Whether they come from religious or other sources, I encourage you to embrace salutary foundational principles that will prove to be both sword and shield. I have shared these ideas with you in the hope that they equip, inspire, and fortify the young women participating in this conference and raise the awareness of young men about issues that affect women and girls. The more women entering and thriving in political and public life, the more societies benefit from their valuable experience and perspectives. We have to continue to push for greater participation of women and girls in this critical area as any shortfall handicaps our overall potential for development. Despite some encouraging statistics, there is still a ways to go with regard to gender equality in this part of the world. In Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean region as a whole, women and girls have long been outstripping their male counterparts at all levels of education. However, we still have unacceptably high levels of sexual harassment and gender-based violence in which women are the predominant victims. Harmful social norms are often at the root of these scourges, and their eradication is the only solution to establishing gender equality. Policies and legislation will help, but can only be optimally effective when all of us understand the root, magnitude, and insidious effects of these long entrenched and pernicious ways of thinking. I hope that the young men who participated in this program will go away with a better understanding of the key issues and workable solutions. You are critical to the success of any effort to advance gender equality and accelerate women's empowerment in all spheres of life. As the first female Prime Minister of Barbados, Mia Motley, noted, the issue of gender inequality is not a woman's problem, but it is an all-society problem not only in its origin and impacts, but indeed in its... I am encouraged and excited that the International Visitors Leadership Program alumni have used this initiative to speak to young men and women across the globe contemporaneously, sharing important information, identifying common concerns, and seeking effective solutions. As activist and icon Helen Keller once said, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Wow, <laughs> that was, oh. yeah boy, inspirational. That is honorable. Oh Lord. That's <laughs> <laughs> Powerful. So blown away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now nah, listen, I, I, I wanted to cheat and say I, I had the privilege of um, playing it before. Uh -huh. And I said, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. President, get on. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that is honorable. Definitely. Uh, uh, L. Oh, Lord. <laughs> for women who don't support each other uh -huh. and for men mm -hmm. who don't support women. And I mean, that's the purpose yeah. of this project to yeah. eradicate it, that yeah. form of thinking, you know? Yeah, we, we need to support each other. We Definitely. Need, we, we cannot move forward thinking Josan is against me and I am against Josan. Thank you for bringing such inspirational greetings. And thank you to um, Princess for her greetings. It's to express their voice. Yeah. And, you know, the president spoke about women in governance. Mm. Well, she has been... What I admire about 
Her Excellency is that she has been battling for years so she, in the arena. Yes, yeah, so in she the know. middle. Are, yeah, yeah. She, she spoke about that. She was a judge, you no? Know, Definitely. Yeah, no, and she spoke about area. being in that arena and staying true to yourself. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's real important. Very inspirational. So, so we have another short video of some other powerful women from across the world and did it by featuring watch till the end <laughs> Member for Point of Air West. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It truly is an honor to be able to speak on such an important matter today. And to get right into it, Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, the Attorney General mentioned that this bill was, was drafted under international best practices. So why did we not make reference of those that already exist? Madam Speaker, I would hate to think that any government minister would say that this bill is at least a start, as it stands. Madam Speaker, we are late. We are late to the party and poorly dressed. We are barefooted and our arms are swinging. We have not worked with us a definition of supervisor or something that means mid-level management. Madam Speaker, this bill does not offer a, 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 a plan of action if an employee wants to make a complaint against an employer or someone who has superiority over them. I would hate to think that the government is trying to insinuate that those in power can do no wrong. My name is Erlene Charles and I am excited to be a part of the 19th National Youth Parliament where I would be representing Port of Spain South as the Minister of Social Development and Family Services. Tune in on November 29th where me alongside my fellow youth parliamentarians will be debating on a mandatory vaccination policy for schools and the workplace. Social Development and Family Services Member four point of Port of Spain South. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for this opportunity to contribute to this debate today. As my former government members have stated, the vaccine alone cannot prevent one from contracting the, the virus, Madam Speaker. Although one is fully vaccinated, they still need to adhere 
to the other policies put in place, wearing a mask, washing your hands regularly, and social distancing, Madam Speaker. The women are coming. But you're late to the party. <laughs> you're barefoot. Mm. And you're poorly dressed. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> But be easy. <laughs> yeah, boy. Budding politicians, boy, and Elena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Budding politicians, well done, well, well done. Well done, and they were ambassadors from the Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago contingents. Yeah. Well, Kirby so, played that double role. Kirby was also a facilitator, yeah, a team member, and Elena was full arm ambassador. ambassador full so these ambassador. ambassadors, they know what they want. They know yeah. why they're here. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> love to see it. Love to see it. So, well we here in Trinidad with day one hosting live from Trinidad. Live from Trinidad uh, and Tobago, but uh, don't worry. We're getting there. We're in Trinidad we're right in now. We're in Trinidad right now. So, we had a, you know, we, we, we Trinidad, we proud. We had right. a sh- <laughs> Well, we should be proud. Of Pro- course, yeah. of course. I had a Trini, I had a Trini, a Trini. Proud, proud, yeah, proud, proud Trini. Trini to the bone. Yeah. So, you know, we had a show off a little bit of the island. We, I, I think we should because in Bahamas, Kenya, Ghana, India, Sri Lanka, and they don't know about of our course. beautiful island yes. because we want them to... Listen, today's Monday the 4th, the Prime Minister knew what was happening today, mm-hmm. and he said, borders open, normal in a sense. Almost back to normal. Right? Um, full capacity, still wear masks, you yeah. know, but the place opened up, so India, Sri Lanka, Ghana, Kenya, Bahamas pass through come, come on, in dis- what, what did you do discover trinidad uh, i was yeah. like yes definitely so we bring in now into the summit from bahamas miss asia rule with her poem at uh, this time we want to introduce one of our participants uh which is miss asia roll who hails from one of our senior high schools here in the country, which is C.R. Walker. And one of the things that we had to do with this uh, program is our participants had to uh, write poetry as a means of expression. And so Mr. Mtima Solwazi from Trinidad, the project lead, this is what his roots, oral roots um, tradition foundation is all about. It's about using the spoken word. And so she's going to use, speak one of those poems uh, right now before we go into our second video and so now I'm going to turn it over to Miss Asia. Good morning everyone. Like Miss Bo said, my name is Asia Roll and I attend Sierra Walker. Today I would like to take you all on a journey. That journey being my I am poem. I am timid and full of uncertainty. I wonder how knowing and loving yourself feels. I hear a strong confident voice whispering within me waiting to break free. I see the possibility of what I could be. I want to be her, the woman awakening within me. I am timid and full of uncertainty. I pretend I am a queen of royal prestige. I feel my heart race, blood rush, face flush as she slowly becomes me. I touch my mirror, finally accepting the reflection I see. I worry it will only last like the flame of a small candle when it is windy. I cry out at night sometimes, wishing to be someone I am not pained by the thought that I am not enough. I am blooming and deciphering what it means to be me. I understand now that I am the voice whispering within me and my queenship is not pretend. I say that I choose to love myself and free the side of me that I have withheld, the side that I am ashamed of, that I have dumbed down for people that could not comprehend the the depth that I possess in the shallow world. I dream that I can be an aspiration for young women like me. I try to live in peace with myself and the world around me. I hope that anyone else struggling with being bound by the chains of society, insecurity, self-hatred, whatever it may be, breaks free. I am hopeful and becoming the woman that was always within me. I am strong because I believe in myself. I love myself because I seek to make my life meaningful. Lovely, lovely. So, yeah, talent in the ambassador. Big up, Isha from Bahamas. This was really, that was a really good poem, Isha. And um, I see you get big up. Your, your name calling in terms of like um, 
making sure that they foster their words and their experiences through poetry. Well, that, um, these, well, we had a fight, so, so for context for the audience, this program, we had a five day, well, a one day focus group discussion for each country. Uh -huh. All right, so we had a one day focus group discussion on the themes, gender-based violence in a cross-country context, mm -hmm. family life and recreation, mm -hmm. and equality and equity. Mm -hmm. The data from that focus group discussion was used to create now a five-day workshop. Okay. Following the same themes, uh -huh. but on day four, mm -hmm. we did advocacy, and day five, we did spoken with poetry, and well, obviously, that picked up a lot with the participants. We used the format of the I Am poem. Yeah. And that went like wildfire amongst the young Lovely. people. Lovely. And then we had a, a I Am affirmations from India. And we had it in both languages. Yes. I love that, that the participants could engage and exchange in a different language. It's, it's about a whole cross-cultural yeah, experience. experience. Yeah. Lovely, <laughs> lovely. So you say something about we have a little thing in store for Tobago? Well, it's Trinidad. <laughs> and Tobago. Twin island states. Yeah, you know, despite what people want to say, it's Trinidad and, and capital E-N-D, uh -huh. Tobago. Yes. Right? So you can't speak of one uh -huh. and not speak of the other. Of course not, yeah. Right? So when you're visiting, you're actually visiting Trinidad and Tobago, you will go on the ferry over to Tobago or take the take Caribbean airline. Yeah. Yeah, 15 up. minutes. Caribbean air. All right. Let me <laughs> 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 15, <laughs> you know, so just a, up, yeah. a 15 minute plane ride. Yeah. And you go over to Tobago. Uh, I know. I right now I want to go to Tobago. <laughs> I want to go to Tobago now. Right now. <laughs> so you discover Trinidad. You discover Tobago. You see what we're working with. You see. Right? Beautiful Twin Island. Yeah. Under the sun. So Queen Caribbean Mother. Seas. Princess Kendra Sani Shihar Olalia. Come, Ritisha. come, come, Ritisha. We'll bring we... the whole idea <laughs> again. Could, could they come already? Oh, know? Lord, oh, Lord. In, in, in our history, in our history, in there, in there, in there has been here, Africa, yeah, been here in our history because we, we have a rich culture here, definitely. And, and I want people to understand when we we don't instead use the word cosmopolitan, you know, is a Kalalu, yeah. No, I out. mix up. Yeah, because we have from India, from Africa, mm -hmm. from Spain, mm -hmm. from from Venezuela, and it's not because of no. Yeah. Long, long time. time Venezuelans come in here. Long time. So we are a mixing so, pot, a yeah. mountain pot, a rich culture. But anyway, we brag in plenty of <laughs> so it's, it's a beautiful um, experience. Uh, definitely. So now we're going back to our ambassadors and they really press what they wanted to see through the form of affirmations. So we have some I am aff affirmations for you all, right? So here we go. Everyone, this is Anubhav Shukla. And today I am going to speak about my self-esteem month, those positive thinking of me. So to begin with, I am strong. Yes, I am strong. I am strong because I know that there does not exist anything which I cannot achieve and there is no other person who can understand me better than me and so this makes me strong. I am strong. Yes, I am strong because I know that until we can't reach the sky, there is no sky. Until we can't reach the sky, there is no sky. Until we can't reach the sky, there is no sky. Until we can't reach the sky, there is no sky. And when you understand your life in your life, you understand that this is the sky. यह आपके अंदर एक दिव्य ऊर्जा प्रवाहित करती है जो कि आपको अंदर से मजबूत बनाती है आई लव माई सेल्फ येस आई लव माई सेल्फ बिकॉज इफ आई कैन नॉट लव माई ओन सेल्फ देन हाउ कैन आई लव अदर्स एंड इफ आई कैन गिव लव टू माई ओन सेल्फ देन हाउ कैन आई एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम अदर्स टू लव मी और जब आप आपके जीवन के यह सत्य को समझते हैं तो यह आपके अंदर एक दिव्य ऊर्जा प्रवाहित करती है जो कि आपको अंदर से मजबूत बनाती है हाँ मैं खुद से प्यार करता हूँ मैं खुद से प्यार करता हूँ क्योंकि सबसे पहले तो अगर आप खुद से प्यार नहीं कर पाएंगे तो फिर किसी और से क्या करेंगे और दूसरी बात कि अगर आप खुद ही खुद को प्यार नहीं देंगे 
तो फिर आप किसी और से ये उम्मीद कैसे कर सकते हैं कि वो आपको प्यार दे बिकमिंग यस आई एम बिकमिंग एंड आई एम बिकमिंग विद एवरी पासिंग डे अ मो बेटर मी अ मो बेटर मी एंड दैट इज बिकॉज विद एवरी पासिंग डे आई एम लर्निंग समथिंग न्यू आई एम लर्निंग समथिंग न्यू एंड दैट इज गिविंग मी स्ट्रेंथ टू बिकम मो बेटर एंड दैट इज मेकिंग मी मो केपेबल ऑफ डूइंग द थिंग्स एंड सो आई एम बिकमिंग मैं सवर रहा हूँ हाँ मैं हर गुजरते वक्त के साथ सवर रहा हूँ क्योंकि मैं हर पल के साथ कुछ नया सीख रहा हूँ खुद को और काबिल और सक्षम बनाने की कोशिश कर रहा हूँ तो हाँ हर पल के साथ मैं सवर रहा हूँ आई एम वर्दी ऑफ लव यस आई एम वर्दी ऑफ लव बिकॉज आई अंडरस्टैंड वॉट रियली लव इज एंड ऑल्सो आई स्प्रेड लव टू द अदर पीपल्स विदाउट एनी पर्सनल हेडेड एजेंडा and so this makes me worthy of love and so i am worthy of love main pyar ke yogi hu main pyar ke yogi hu kyunki main pyar ka matlab samajhta hu main dusron ko bina kisi swarth ke pyar karna jaanta hu aur jab main pyar ka matlab samajhta hu aur pyar bina swarth ke karna jaanta hu to ha main pyar ke yogi hu i am worthy of good things yes i am worthy of good things I am worthy of good things because I understand what good things meant to be, and I understand the difference between good and bad, and I really know how to take care of those good things, and this makes me worthy of all those good things. और मैं हर चीज के योग्य हूँ, मैं उस हर अच्छी चीज के योग्य हूँ, मैं उस हर अच्छी चीज के योग्य इसलिए हूँ क्योंकि मैं उन चीजों को संभाल कर रखना जानता हूँ उनकी कदर करना जानता हूँ मैं अच्छे बुरे का फर्क जानता हूँ और इसलिए मैं उन हर अच्छी चीजों के योग्य हूँ थैंक्स आई एम कॉन्फिडेंट इन माई डिसीजन यस आई एम कॉन्फिडेंट इन माई डिसीजन बिकॉज आई टेक ऑल माई डिसीजन आफ्टर गोइंग ऑन थ्रू द मल्टी डायमेंशनल परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड एंड आफ्टर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज correct or not and this makes me confident on my decision because yes i know that if i have decided to do that i can do that okay main apne faislon par aashwast rehta hu main apne faislon par aashwast rehta hu kyunki main swayam par vishwas rakhta hu main apna har faisla kai drishti ki tarah se dekh ke leta hu kai prakar se soch samajh ke leta hu aur इतना विश्वास रखता हूं स्वयं पर कि मैं उन फैसलों को पूरा कर सकूंगा well done ambassadors well done so we had a boy from india and a girl from i believe it was ghana yeah from ghana wow so we have the men we have male ambassadors so that's important to note that it wasn't just for girls and and young women it was for men as well yeah what we try to do we try to um have a presence yeah of 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 young men because they need to know what some of the experiences the young women are facing right and they need to also give that support definitely and it's important also that we hear the voices yeah. of our males our men yeah. our young men they need to be allies in this fight yeah. for gender equality as and well and they too need to be given that space for their voice to be heard definitely so throughout the week you're going to hear more young men speaking up right about issues that affect them in relation to issues that affecting women because we feel that if it affects the man it will affect the woman if mm -hmm. it affects the woman it does not affect the man mm -hmm. it does yeah right and this platform provided that opportunity not just for you know someone asked me on facebook empty market men attend i say <laughs> of course there's not no woman program no, no we it's had a people problem but when but when but when we said gender-based violence why you think is only directed to women definitely gender based violence is just what it is gender based violence and violence could go both ways yes we can agree based on the data based on what's happening just friday 
right in Trinidad, some man chopped his wife to yeah, death. Yeah, unfortunately. And then, um, mm -hmm. Drunk or, or, or kill himself. Yeah. No condolences to the families on, on both sides because there was a, there's a, a, there was a tragedy. Yeah, yeah, there's a tragedy Definitely. on both sides. And we have to find a way to make an intervention before we reach to what happened Friday night. And this, this project you know? was, is one of the things that we can do so we could understand each other's side. Well, and it's, well, it's not only, it's not the only because, you know, we, we, we don't ever think that what we're doing is exclusive. Mm -hmm. No. And that is why the partnership is important. Definitely. That is why the networking is important. Definitely. And that is why giving young people the space to speak definitely and that is i could say for what we do at in terms of spoken word poetry that is one of our main things giving those young people that space to speak mm -hmm. so i want to thank our young man from india india and we'll yeah. hear about him again Later on throughout the week because yeah he has he has he has more to say yeah <laughs> and he was one of the more vocal ones in the workshops too eh? you know definitely. he used to make me very laugh i said okay <laughs> you know, when you're on the floor, I, I pull you back and say, it, yeah. Speaking of young, young men, men, we have another man saying his piece about gender equality. Yes, so um, recently, Roots Foundation partnered with the Institute, of, Institute for Gender Development Studies at the University of the West Indies to do a program called Men Who Care. Mm -hmm. Because men do care. Men care about issues as I say, that affect both women and men and children. Men care about those issues. So, taking this video from Kemraj, speaking about what he care about. Nah, not anymore. I care about the amount of violence experienced by women. Fellas, when it comes to sex, we must ensure that they can and must give consent. And whether it's our wives, our girlfriends, or our exes, no matter how we are feeling at the time, when they say no, no means no. Hi, I am Abigail Williams. I am Patricia Williams. My name is Shanam Mahadi Singh. My name is Carisha Williams. I'm Ria Williams. I'm Diana Brooms, and I love myself because I'm a child of God and He loves me. I am strong because I put my confidence in God in myself. Because I trust in God. And I let my happiness be visible to others because I want them to know that it is okay to be happy as well. I surround myself with loving people because it is important to have them in good times and bad times to help you celebrate your accomplishments and to be there for you when you are done. I love myself because of my personality and the respect I have for myself. I am confident in my decisions because I think and pray before I do anything. I can choose positive thoughts because it encourages me to carry about my day efficiently. It helps to stay out of the sad and depressed zone. I let my happiness be visible to others because I want to share the feeling of happiness and joy to others who don't have. Thank you. Yes, so you all heard from Kemraj in terms of what, what, what he's passionate about, what he cares yeah. about. 
and you would have heard from our ambassadors yeah a group from, yeah from tnt yeah sharing their affirmations yeah you know? what they also care about what they also believe in uh at this time i want to uh, apologize to our facebook viewers we really experiencing a lot of technical difficulties so we are well they can't hear me <laughs> but, but you could reach out to them to let them know join you on youtube come in you know? youtube come in youtube yeah, so um those who hear in us especially from our team also drop a message in the on the facebook Roots foundation page and let them know please join us on yeah. youtube and All do apologize yeah. for that break in transmission but murphy is <laughs> murphy's alive you know? <laughs> of course of course watch out murphy murphy's the devil <laughs> i I ain't going to say so, go so far to say that. I feel there's a special place in hell for me. I, <laughs> right. So we heard from Cameron and we heard from our youth ambassadors. But I want to introduce this next person. This next person is a man in my life who has challenged me to go into the arena and claim my space as a woman talked to him the other day i was getting some backlash in a male and dominated environment why are you laughing at my story can i talk to talk, can i tell my story <laughs> uh, apologize <laughs> right he said josan i can't take that you know i can't take that you have to go and you have to stand up for yourself i say empty i mean i say yes <laughs> i say yes i will do that so bring it into the summit to say his piece about what he cares about in terms of gender equality, Mr. M. Tima Salwazi. Nah, not in the mood. I care about the amount of violence experienced by women. Fellas, when it comes to sex, we must ensure that they can and must give consent. And whether it's our wives, our girlfriends, or our exes, no matter how we are feeling at the time, when they say no, no means no. I am affirmations. I am strong because I bounce back higher the harder I fall. I love myself because I am unique and different. I am becoming a change that I want to see in my world. I am confident in the decisions I make because I trust myself, my values. Nanu Ananya Matu Vibina Agi did the Karana, Nanu Nanano Nambutene Nana Jagatinelli Nana Noda Lubayasuva, but the Lavene Aguti Dene Nana Nirdhara Deli and the Vishwasa Vide, Ekendere, Nanu Nana Maule Galeli, Matu Nana Mede, Nambutene Nanu Balashali, Ekendere, Vifala Agi the Ru, Nanu Prayatna, Bidu Dilla, Nanya Vadagal. I'm confident and wise. I wonder about the violence in the world. I hear people calling for their rights. I see many crimes in my sight. I want to stand and raise my voice. I'm confident and wise. I pretend to know everything. I feel as if I was in the sky. I touch the smoky clouds. I worry about the world. I cry about violence. I'm confident and wise. 
I understand that the world will come to an end. I say God will punish the wrongdoers. I dream of ending violence. I try not to lose my courage. I hope God will answer my prayers. I'm confident and wise. So y'all see who I was talking about. I tell you, he pulled me square and he said, Josan, you cannot let them bully you. Like, you cannot. No, the word, <laughs> listen to this, the word. <laughs> Josan is, I wouldn't say, I guess it's the program, like the area. Yes. Engineering. Project, uh, project management. management. Yeah, which falls under the faculty of engineering in the university. Right. And she was in our group of two boys and two girls. And the two young men decided to... <laughs> they're planning this project um and the two young men decided to put jews in the kitchen you know oh lord <laughs> but, 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 but the the, the as, what they assigned her to do was not what they were doing and they said well we go handle this and you you go take that uh, crazy or what <laughs> at this stage you know and we have to literally stand up and stand against those type of things, you know, mm -hmm. and that. So I, I told her, I say, no, Jews, and I told her, you know, I told her how to deal with it, or I would suggested that she could deal with it, you know, and we agreed that she would take certain steps to yeah. remedy that type of behavior. <laughs> we don't want that leaving the schools, definitely, and going into the workplace, definitely, you know, because you feel I, because I'm a man, I go handle this, mm -hmm. and well, you go and serve um sandwiches you know yeah 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 One serve juice juice and so that is <laughs> so that is the importance of having men like mt mark like the young man from india like kemraj as allies even when they see this inequality happening they could stand with us women to ensure that you know we stand our ground that's the purpose of allies so Thank you for all the men. Special thanks to y'all for who are part of this project and who continue us uh, who continuously be allies in this fight for gender equality. You know, we had a, a lot of men in the program for you too. Definitely, a lot of men, and we saw Sane Girls High School. Yes, yes. I don't want to say too much on Sane Girls High School, <laughs> but y'all. I mean, you hear a name, yeah, you hear a name in yeah. the early, and then you hear a name again. Yeah, we can't Sane. give too much out, you know. But yeah, we saw yeah, those yeah. girls, right? And we saw also another part, um, youth ambassador. Yes. From India. From India. And, and expressing her affirmation. Listen, this project, I could say all the countries mm -hmm. and you would have been part of the workshops definitely hello those young people they were biting in the in the focus group discussions they had the sessions lively for you yeah, yeah 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 you was also part i was of, in the focus group I, yeah, yeah as well as the um the workshops so you were uh at, 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 at I Silver, would, uh, yeah the focus I, group. yeah yeah you and so you would have silently observe and see how and hear, are, yeah. yeah their opinions yeah they, they, they were they were hot so they were hot. before we move in we come in we wind and long we come yeah, we to the end. Long, so before we move into the the beginning of the end <laughs> <laughs> i will i want to ask you what were some of the challenges in this project so um y and you all seen a lot of successes you all seen a lot of successes and this is just day one. We have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're going whole week. You're going to see, you're going to be so amazed of what these young people did. So even before the challenges, because challenges are important to help you grow, to help you um, regroup. Yeah. No. To learn. Refra to learn to reframe your, yeah. your thoughts, your yeah. mind. So when right? you meet up something similar down the road, you know how to and then also it. challenges help you to realize just like what we did with this program what is harmful is universal exactly what is challenging is <laughs> universal so right? i guess then the first challenge was universal <laughs> no the first challenge was the time yeah the time zone so it is now let me explain this to you all i have it on my phone eh? but that's how it works the this time is 12 it is 12 22, 22 in trinidad well you're going to 23 now mm -hmm. in trinidad and tobago 
and in the Bahamas. Right? When daylight savings is on, Bahamas goes back one, one hour. hour. Okay. So we have to all be monitoring. In India and Sri Lanka, oh my Josan, we have to end this very soon. It's 9 53 p.m. Mm -hmm. It is night. Monday night, yeah. Mm -hmm. Monday night. Right? In Kenya, oh my goodness, Josan, this has to end very soon. <laughs> it's 7 23 p.m. In Ghana, it's 4.23 p.m. Well, is it still in the evening? When we link in with Princess in the, in the UK, UK it's 5.23 yeah. p.m. But in daylight, no, in daylight savings, Ghana does jump up. <laughs> Ghana's got the five hours in front. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, world, can you imagine coordinating? Can you, Trinidad and Tobago, coordinating in your time zone, telling somebody, reach for nine, and they reach nine Trinidad time. Oh, Lord. Is a challenge. Far more for coordinating a global project with the different time zones. I always have to be saying 10, um, 11, 12, 14. <laughs> You're counting. All my fingers. Oh, Lord, and then Lord. going to Google. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to confirm. To yeah. ensure because... Yeah. The first focus group, when I set the time, I mixed it up in my head and thought it was an hour after. So India was there waiting in the, in the Zoom. Ratisha called my phone, empty my where are you? <laughs> I said, what, it early? <laughs> then realized I got the time mixed oh, up. Yeah. You know, but outside of that, we had many successes and I want to just share two other things. We did some workshops, and you're going to see because we're going to give out certificates in a while. We did workshops for the team leaders on harmful cultural practices. Yeah, I was a part of the workshop, right? yeah. We had a core member f members of our team. Mm -hmm. Then we had resource persons. Yeah. Right? We also did public speaking workshops facilitated by Ghana. Yeah. For all the youth ambassadors. Yeah. Right? With a public speaking and advocacy training. We also celebrated International Women's Day mm -hmm. and Women and Girls in Science. We yeah. have so much more to see. to see. But the challenges, so we had time as a challenge. The COVID-19. Flip the project on its head, eh? <laughs> so I really want to take this time, ask all of us, just for a few seconds of silence, because we had many, many deaths in this summit. Persons lost their children, lost their relatives, lost their in-laws. It was overwhelming. COVID did a serious number on the world. Yeah, and everybody and this felt project it. Is part of the world, yeah. So we were not spared, even at home here. Our own team members who oh. lost their grandmother, who lost their aunt, who lost their mothers, yeah. So let's just a short um, time for silence. And you know we. When, when, the, when members, team members and, and team leads started to share these losses, I was like, wow, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't fathom what was really taken place. Yeah. I, I, I was, I remember one team member lost about three or four relatives in one weekend. Wow. We had one team member lost his children. Wow. It wasn't of COVID, other complications, you know, but the fact loss of loss life. of life yeah. is loss of life yeah so that in itself chosen was a challenge definitely a big huge challenge because i can't tell you come on Josan, mm -hmm. stuck it up mm -hmm. you're born to dead let's move on yeah you know, you so can't, we you can't pay our that. respects to those we lost yeah, yeah. and but other so challenges was this project was not run or was not facilitated by robots <laughs> we had the human element definitely we had the human factor 
we had personalities yeah we had work ethics yeah we had cultural differences Oh my God. It was interesting to say the least. <laughs> Hello. And if I had to rate with the loss of life, the time, and the human challenges, I don't know which. Oh, because it, no, it was overwhelming. It, it, yeah, I imagine. It was overwhelming. So. But we are here today. Exactly. And we see in the know? successes of the program. Yeah. I, I remember um, the embassy called me this morning and they said, Empty Ma? You have you, you all have worked this hard for today yes and onwards for this week so congratulations week. Yeah. to you congratulations to the team yes. you know sani um Ritushia, kendra and queen mother and, and shihar Shihan, yeah. in sri lanka congratulations to y'all yeah. y'all seeing the fruits of your labor yeah. speaking of fruits we have a little a little something to give out yeah no <laughs> we believe people must be and be rewarded yes yes we yes. cannot have you all we started with and with the focus group discussions actually started in march or, or april if, last year i think um no we no. had the um the opening meetings and trainings back then back then the focus groups were between august and september okay yeah right yeah right so right so we were planning and training with yeah. a lot of training programs yeah, for definitely. the team members yeah. before mm -hmm. yes because we had training on ethics yeah right um how to use well ethics are online yeah because hello <laughs> a whole online, different platform you see it from yeah. here you look at well presentable but don't go <laughs> in a mess yeah. a whole different yeah. ball game so we had yeah. ethics online training then we are training in terms of how to interact yeah with young people yeah because not because you're online mean children are safe yeah right we know there's a lot yeah, of yeah, yeah. problems that, uh, so we had that training yeah so the focus group actually started um Jul o july august around yeah. there august and then the last one was in the first week of september i believe yeah okay so august september yeah and then the workshops ran in november, november yep. for the start of the 16 days of activism yep so yes so the workshop the five the one the five days workshop were in november so yep. we had these young people from august and in november again and, and then, then we engaged with them yeah in several different ways oh, yeah, locally yeah, and internationally yes yes as, is, as they will see yeah as they so will see. without so any further ado and watch the time it done yeah in, in <laughs> should, yeah, yeah 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 so we have the presentation of certificates to our participants to our resource personnel, personnel yeah also for the training on harmful cultural practices which was conducted by dr betty yeah right and um princess meridium right so dr betty and we'll hear more water Later on week. In the week, yeah. and then we have to reward our team, team. members yes, we're doing for their hard job. work yeah. so no worries not 500 certificates <laughs> right well it's a small team but yeah. a powerful Full team board. yeah
This was months of work, <laughs> months of preparing. Yes, for some people, you know. Somebody message me certificates like that. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> each and every one of you. You know, y'all did it. So yeah, we coming down, we winding down. We, we, we don't tell you. Yeah. yeah. So before we go, we have a little, a one last poem for y'all from right here, one of our ambassadors from Trinidad, right? Yes. But before we bring in that last poem. Uh huh. We want to thank every one of you. Oh Lord, for everyone. Tuning. Yeah. Listen, I think there's a special place in hell for Murphy's Law. <laughs> oh because Lord. the among oh, you're not seeing behind the scenes here. It's crazy. You know? <laughs> oh, <wild. laughs> and you all stayed. Thank you for staying. You know, I mean I got the Kenya, they here yeah. still. 
No Everybody on the YouTube live, y'all were so active and interactive, yeah. you know? So Fe thank hey, you. Facebook too. Facebook, hey, Hello. you was monitoring the Facebook, Facebook yeah. Too, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's just that Murphy. Yeah, boy. I don't think Murphy likes it. We apologize. I'm something Mark do Murphy, boy. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. <laughs> we apologize for all the breaks in the streams, but yeah. at the end of the day, yeah, y'all, the, the content was really, really good. Thank you for staying. I mean, yeah, the energy YouTube, from, yeah. from them, the energy from y'all was, was good. Yeah, it it helped us. us. Yeah, boy. Because we were like, <laughs> oh, we only watching each other and saying, oh, God, damn, Timo, what next? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But your energy really sustained us. Thank you. But we're here tomorrow again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What time no, to? No. <laughs> I want y'all to please take note and share. All again, this live. We are here tomorrow please go on tuesday mm -hmm. we're streaming live from where Ch no bahamas the bahamas the bahamas yeah. at 9 a.m yeah e s t right right which is the same as right now atlantic standard time right so bahamas and mm -hmm. tnt nine, you are 9 a.m okay cool right caribbean ghana that means you are You, you are 2 p.m. 2 p.m., right. Ghana, you are 2 p.m. Right. Kenya, 2 p.m. Ghana, you are 2 p.m. GMT. Kenya, you are... 9, 10, 11, <laughs> Well, it's in this live, eh? <laughs> 4 p.m. 4 p.m. in Kenya. But is I like that one, E-A-T. <laughs> Eastern African time. Right. India, Sri Lanka. This is the challenge. This is maths. 10, mm -hmm. 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, let's see in this live. The maths, we're checking on my fingers. 3, 4, 5, 6. Because India and Sri Lanka is nine and a half hours. So after checking nine, yeah, check the half. So. <laughs> <laughs> for the half. For the half. For the half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 6 30 IST. Yeah. Go on Roots Foundation YouTube. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to get it also now on the YouTube for the GPS. Yes, yes. Right? And Roots Foundation Facebook page. Right? But the, the GPS YouTube should be up by this tomorrow. Year, this yeah. stream. By tomorrow, please. So, so, so that's 9 in Trinidad and Bahamas. Bahamas. 9 a.m. Right. AST and EST. EST. So then we go across the Atlantic. Right. 2 p.m. in Ghana. That's GMT. I'm oh, going to check it. <laughs> no, hello. Sometimes your fingers are this here. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, then we go into Kenya. So 2 p.m. In, in Ghana, right? Yeah. 4 yeah. p.m. in Kenya, which is EE. -E. No, not 4. Look at that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Kenya is 7 hours. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, so Lord. just now is 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, yeah, 4. You see what's going on? Um, <laughs> Fingers. There's too much numbers right? in my head. 4 p.m. And in, in India. Kenya is, is um, EAT. Right. And Eastern in, African time. And in India and Sri Lanka. Oh, God, that's a big one. <laughs> 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the half. Yeah, don't forget the half. Yeah, drop it on. So so six, so. <laughs> 6 20. Oh, let's check the Facebook page. Don't bother with all this math. No. Yeah. Hello. Use your fingers, please. <laughs> so, yeah. That's so. Only for calculator. So yeah, so we go in to hear this piece, this piece of poetry, and we're coming back for the closing. I am nonchalant and smart. I wonder what normal people think about. I hear the voices in my head daily. I see the art of Picasso, and I truly admire it. I want to be great in dancing and singing so I can teach others. I am nonchalant and smart. I pretend that I am in an imaginary scenery in the jungle with the animals. I feel the rhythm when I listen to the mu my favorite music. I touch the clouds in my dreams. I worry about humans a lot. I cry when I'm angry and stressed. I am nonchalant and smart. I understand the meaning of life. I say I am beautiful and I mean it. I try to accomplish all my goals. I hope to see the end of domestic violence worldwide. I am nonchalant and smart. La 
lovely, lovely. So we, <laughs> so we made it to the end of I day one. I want to teach you Arabic. Alhamdulillah. I know in Kenya and India and Sri Lanka. They say the same Indiana, thing. <laughs> it means all praise is due yes, to God. Yes, yes. We completed yes. day, day one. one of five days of one year of six, six years. years. Wow. Oh, my six God. Six years blew me away every time. Every time. Yeah. Yeah, of six years. Yeah. Right? So we want to sp say a special thanks to our sponsors, the U.S. Embassy. For the Spain. For the Spain, yeah. For your continued support, support and confidence and, yeah, big up yourself u.s embassy yeah. for spain you know thank you so much big up yourself kenya yeah ghana big everybody up ghana sri lanka big up, big india up yourself, sri lanka india big up but, yourself bahamas big up yourself <laughs> TNT, like yourself yeah big up yourself we did well we did well thank, thank you, you to the team thank you Jules oh, and thank you <laughs> thank you empty man yeah. to the youth foundation team, team. Oh, yeah god. oh god we had to thank somebody in the back there but what should you sweat what if <laughs> we had to put the fan he, he on did it. a fan he did a, a ice block yeah a cool drink <laughs> so y'all what y'all don't know from the start of this program till now yeah we have been streaming via money media studios but he gets some good licks today from, yeah, boy. Um, from uh, murphy today boy oh yeah, man boy. He, says, he says he says <laughs> one thing eh, that he don't like when the internet started giving trouble <laughs> hello <laughs> watch me like he the man like he wants to get murphy and will uh, oh, okay, right, oh, so <laughs> <God. laughs> <laughs> and i feel so <laughs> anyway thank you guys for staying with us thank till you. the end thank you and we hope to see you all thank tomorrow you. check the facebook page what time 9 a.m for who for trinidad and bahamas ghana 2 p.m <laughs> kenya 4 p.m and india and sri lanka 6 30. We go see all the tomorrow. That correct? Okay, she got it. Ah! <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. She didn't project management. You must go get now. Go get now. I want to thank the roots. Um, is works. works. The workmates. Workmates. Works mate or workmates. 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 Right, and I'll call the names because the whole team know them from Ghana, yeah. India, Kenya. We call team. Isaiah. Well, here, Josan Sylvester. You all know Josan very well. You all know Emmanuel. Watch it. They know. It. They know Emmanuel more than Manny Media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Anyway, is Emmanuel coming? Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Oh gosh. They know Emmanuel Villafana. I they love Isaiah John. Mm. They love Kirby Moses yeah. and Jaron Rees. Because Kirby and Jaron did the spoken word with, yeah. with young people. Definitely. Well thank done. you, Kosi. So thank you all very much. Um Emmanuel, how we Manny Me Manny Media, Emmanuel. Which e about what? Emmanuel, how are we going out? Some kind of yeah, give me some kind of what's uh, some kind of thing now. Yeah. Thanks, y'all. I can't wait to see what Bahamas have in store. They're live tomorrow, more live than us. <laughs> we have a live audience, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in the American spaces operating out of the University of the Bahamas. So, Ken Job on your team, big up all yourself. We'll Dionne see y'all tomorrow, 9 a.m. Bye bye. Welcome to the women and girls. Women's Summit virtual experience across borders. This summit is designed to provide empowerment, advocacy, to raise awareness of the plight of women and girls across borders by documenting similarities and differences and promoting gender-based violence prevention and gender equality in governance. This summit will be a regional pedagogical, experiential knowledge share of IVLP alumni between three continents collectively with Trinidad and Tobago, the Bahamas, Ghana, Kenya, Sri Lanka, and India. There are three components to the summit. One, focus group discussions to be held in August of 2021. Two, a five-day virtual workshop to be held November 22nd through the 26th of 2021. And three, a global summit to be held April 4th through the 8th of 2022. We want you to think 
Share your thoughts, views, experiences. Lend your voice as we advocate for equality and equity and navigate towards governance, peace, and security for our women and girls.